BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting on the channel, there have been numerous rumors, reports, and suggestions that Microsoft is going to release the next generation of Windows in the second half of next year, 2024, which is going to be more focused on AR. So there's going to be a lot more AR rolling out with the next version of Windows. And if you'd like some more info regarding the next generation of Windows, be that Windows 11 version 24H2, a possible Windows 12 or something totally different, then I'll leave a Windows 12 rumors playlist in the end screen of this video if you'd like to play catch up and just get a bit more info. Now, before that all happens, according to a new report um, by Windows Central, by the way, which I'll leave down below if you'd like to go check out the full report, there's going to be one final Moment 5 feature update rolling out as early as next year, February 2024, for Windows 11 version 23H2. Now, according to Windows Central sources, the next Windows 11 Moment update is expected to be finalized by early February next year, 2024, and will roll out a couple of weeks later. So that will be with the optional bug fix C release update that will roll out at the end of February next year. And that could start rolling out the 20th or the 27th, give or take. And... This obviously will also be called, uh, the feature drop will be called the February 2024 Moment Update. And just like previous Moment Updates, Moment 5 will then also roll out as a cumulative update and become more widely available with the Patch Tuesday update that will be rolled out for March 2024 next year, which will start rolling out, depending on your region, the 12th of March, which will be the second Tuesday of March. And as mentioned, Moment 5 will only roll out to those users running Windows 11 version 23H2. Now, if you would be interested as to a couple of new features that Microsoft um, could possibly roll out with Moment 5, and obviously this is subject to change and is not a comprehensive list, but just a couple of key highlights I've pulled out of the report by Windows Central then just to get started because there's quite a lot to get through. Now, first of all, as I've mentioned previously, and a lot of these features I have posted on individually in previous videos, so you can just do a search accordingly if you would like more info. But uh, just a quick summary as to some of the key highlights. Microsoft will roll out the ability to ink directly into text boxes across um, Windows 11 with the Moment 5 update if you are using a digital pen, obviously. And as part of the changes being made uh, to the operating system to comply with the DMA, the Digital Marketing Act, Microsoft is also going to be giving, if you are finding yourself in those regions, is also going to be giving you the ability to uninstall some of the inbox apps which are currently uninstallable in other regions. So as an example, these will include Cortana, the camera, photos and also microsoft edge so this will be the first update that will make microsoft edge um you will be able to uninstall microsoft edge if you do find yourself um in a region uh, where microsoft is complying with the dma the digital marketing act now also microsoft is also going to be making changes to the nearby share feature so if we just head over to another screenshot um, nearby sharing um, will be able to support now a name change. So you'll be able to um, give your PC a more readable name in the, near share bar, in the nearby share menu, which will appear when another PC basically tries to share a file with you using nearby share. And over and above being able to give it a um, better name, as an example, uh, your name and nearby share, or your name and laptop or your name and desktop pc as an example and they're also going to be making improvements uh, to the transfer speed so nearby sharing is going to become a lot quicker when it comes to better transfer speed so that's just a couple of improvements uh, that microsoft will be giving the nearby sharing feature uh, in windows 11 and then moving on um, when it comes to windows spotlight which uh, is the feature in windows 11 that uh, brings the Bing image of the day to your desktop. So if we just quickly head over to our settings, just to do a quick recap, if we head to personalization, 
background and we head to window spotlight as many of you will know window spotlight brings the Bing image of the day and has a couple of other images that get changed over a couple of days during the course of the week uh, the window spotlight feature will be set as the default wallpaper setting and this setting will only take effect if you're using one of the built-in windows wallpapers if you're using a custom wallpaper the window spotlight option will not be automatically toggled so that's a bit of a window spotlight feature improvement rolling out with moment five and when it comes to copilot as i mentioned previously as well copilot will be able to be undocked so you'll be able to undock copilot from your desktop and you'll also be able to resize copilot and those two options are not available currently uh, in the stable version of windows 11 version 23h2 but we'll be running out with moment five and something else is when copilot is open you will be able to use alt and tab and actually select copilot as part of those features and this has already started rolling out to the stable version as you can see you can actually select copilot as part of alt and tab so if you haven't received that feature where you can see the copilot thumbnail in those thumbnails on your desktop using alt and tab and um, that will be made available as a default feature with moment five and it will also work across multiple displays so copilot if it isn't um, working across multiple displays currently on your os will work across a multi-monitor setup now moving on to the widgets board and there's a couple of um, changes to the widgets board that microsoft is also making to comply with the dma and the biggest one is that microsoft is going to be rolling out as i've posted previously a setting to be able to disable the um the actual newsfeed so you'll you'll have the option to disable the newsfeed and only show widgets and this is to comply with the dma and i think this will be a nice move in the right direction um because if we just head over to the uh, widgets board uh, news and interests as many of you will know and um, currently in the widgets board you get your widgets to the left and you get your news feed to um, the right and I think for a lot of users including myself being able to turn off the news feed I think will be a nice move in the right direction so that's a big um, a small but a significant change um, which I think is a nice move regarding turning off the news feed and um, Microsoft is also making the widgets board interoperable, which means third party um, new services can build a plugin that integrates with the widgets board. So, and that will also be something else to look out for. Now, moving on to some improvements that Microsoft is going to be making to inbox apps. And one of the biggest, I think, which is a small yet, I think, a significant change, if we head over to a screenshot provided by Windows Central, as we can see here near the bottom, as I've posted previously, we're going to be getting a character count, which will be found at the bottom of the app, which you'll be able to see how many characters you have typed, which I think is another nice move. And over and above that, there will also be an edit with notepad shortcut, which will appear in the context menus when right-clicking um, and selecting file type. So in your right-click context menu, you're going to have an edit with notepad option, which I think has been a long time coming, as I've mentioned previously. Now, um, when we are looking at the Windows 365 Cloud PC, Microsoft is going to continue work on integrating Windows 365 Cloud PC into the Windows 11 OS. So there's just going to be a little bit more features, which will make it a lot more um, easier to kind of flip between your th Cloud PC and your local desktop PC, as an example, which will be rolling out um, with the Moment 5 feature update. And a lot of those options will be available using the desktop task view um, function as I have posted previously and Microsoft is also launching a new mode for Windows 365 a boot called dedicated mode which can now boot to your Windows 365 cloud PC, PC from your designated company owned device and that's currently and a lot of these changes obviously are, are currently being tested in the insider program in, in preview but as mentioned a couple of uh, changes to better integrate Windows 365 Cloud PC into Windows 11 will also be made available with Moment 5. And if we head to the uh, last screenshot for the purpose of this video, Microsoft is also going to be making more improvements to some of the accessibility features built into Windows 11. 
And one of the biggest changes will be voice access, which will support multiple monitors, which means you'll be able to navigate um, through the OS using your voice across more than just your main display, which is currently the case. And over and above that, Microsoft is also adding support for more languages, which are French, French Canada, German, Spanish, and Spanish Mexico. And voice access is also gaining a new feature called voice shortcuts, which we can see from the screenshot provided, which will let you create custom commands that uh, use your voice to activate. So you can just say, what can I say when, you, when voice access is enabled and select the voice shortcuts tab in the window that pops up as we can see. And from there, you can create an action based on a custom phrase and pick from a selection of actions provided by the voice access app. And over and above that, where Microsoft is making um, improvements to the accessibility side of Windows 11, which I always think is a good thing. Narrator will also be getting some updates, including the ability to preview new natural voices before you download them. So that's just a brief overview. As mentioned, I'll leave the original post by Windows Central in the description. And that's at this stage, more or less what we can expect to see in the Moment 5 feature update, which will be the last uh, Moment feature drop for Windows 11 version 23H2, which will start rolling out um, at the end of February next year, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.